Dear Mr. President, as South Africans, we wait in anticipation for this year's installment of the State of Nation Address. As civil society and LGBTI communities at large, we deemed it imperative that we verbalize our lived experiences when it comes to accessing healthcare in South Africa. We need to come to a collective realization, Mr. President, that accessing healthcare in the country is not distributed or accessed in an equitable manner. Currently, intersex individuals still face intersex genital mutilations in South Africa. Trans and gender diverse persons still face challenges in accessing gender affirming healthcare secondary as well as primary healthcare. Sexual reproductive healthcare for queer communities remains an issue. Responses to equitable sexual reproductive health care still leave little to be desired in the country. Mr. President, we've got an influx of LGBTI persons who are asylum seekers and refugees who flee to South Africa because their identity remains the greatest danger of all in, the country, in their countries of origin. And unfortunately, access to health care for them also remains a pertinent issue as xenophobia, afrophobia, transphobia and homophobia still, pre still present a barrier in accessing health care. Mr. President, as civil society, we appeal to you to listen to your people, not just some. As the constitution of the country explicitly says that you cannot discriminate against me based on my sex as well as gender. The lived experiences that descend from sex and gender need to be taken into account because at the end of the day, Mr. President, people are done. So as civil society, we appeal to you, Mr. President, listen to your people, respond to your people, and actively serve. I thank you.